Jeez. Oh no, it's happened to you. Hey guys. It's Pamela. I have a coaster series to finish. Two of three. And I still have some leftover paint from the first one. This blue. This is, this is I believe it's phalo blue mixed with some white. There's no silicone in it. And Artist Loft Flow in Gold. This one had silicone in it over from the last pour, which might be a mistake. I'm not going to add any more additional silicone to it. I'm just going to have some dry paint stuck in there now, but just going to stir that up. So that has silicone. Here's some black from the first coasters. It doesn't have any silicone. some more pouring medium. I have added some extra pouring medium. Ugh, that was open. <laughs> That's real good, Pam. I added a little extra to the blue. Since it's leftover paint, it was thick. And um, here's Fine Touch Acrylic in Violet. Uh, whenever I use this color in a pour, it always takes over. I didn't mix up very much. And this is Deco Art Satin Enamel, Americana's. Deco Art Americana Satin Enamel. I guess they have two names, what, Deco Art and Americana? I don't know. This is. Um, white linen, pure linen. It's kind of an off-white and I think I mixed it up with a little pure white one day because I have them both. In my last pour I used just the pure white but this one I'm just trying to use up and I think it already had um, some Artist Love Flow White in it but I'm gonna, I'm shaking this up, I, uh, I'm gonna add some anyway. So I'm trying to give you a, a really definite uh, idea of what I'm using here in this. I mean, they're just coasters. I'm not being real definite. You know, if I sell a painting in the future, I want to be able to tell the buyer what exactly I used. So, I mean, I would want to know, wouldn't you? I don't know. Okay. That's thick. I have, I don't know which way I'm going to orientate this video, but this is Liquitex Iridescent Medium. And um, I think I might orientate it this way. Either way, there you got it both ways. Um, I haven't used this yet. I think it's open. Nope. I love iridescent anything. And I think I'm going to try some Jerry's Artorama Pearlescence and their artist creations. I think I'm just going to like try all line it up paint. I don't know how much to I think I'm just going to put it in a purple because there's not a lot of purple. Ooh, that's like a hefty teaspoon. And there was only about three or four teaspoons in this cup of paint to begin with. Paint and pouring medium. Does it look any different? No. Oh, God. 
here's this paint made by TriArt. Uh, it's called um, Liquid Mirror. It's really expensive, but I'm getting, uh, I gotta get some of it. I've been thinking about it for a couple of months now. <laughs> the longer I get to thinking about something, the worse it gets. You know, I'm not seeing a whole lot of iridescent. I am seeing some. I got the lights on really bright in here. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, here's the, here's the great part. I'm gonna try to recreate my second video since it did, it's done really well. I don't, I, I think it's, um, I think it has something to do with what I named it. It's just the way YouTube works. But, um, it's a, it's a beautiful pour if I don't say so myself. <laughs> I used deco art satin enamel in it, but I wasn't going for a cloudy effect. Um, didn't know what I was going for then. Like I said, it was only my second video. It's probably like my second time using the satin enamel. But I know that I used Liquitex gloss, medium, and varnish. I'll put it this way. Um, I remember I put like a tablespoon. I should put it in the gold. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the gold. Put a little in there. And a little in the black. And this stuff, you know, because it's the varnish, it's sticky when it comes time for cleanup. But that's how I got the striations in that video. <clears throat> there was no clouds floating around. There were clouds that came out last out of the cup. And um, so that's how I got that, that look. Where, uh, well, anyway, you'll just have to, it's hard for me to describe. It's my second video. And um, that's what I'm going for in this, because I haven't used this varnish and medium since then. And I don't even know how much paint is in this. Uh, I haven't, like I said, I haven't used this deal off-white either in a while. So they're just coasters. I'm just kind of using a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I haven't stirred this up yet. But I want to give you the best idea that I can of what's going on. And I think I have, basically. The only thing that might elude me is this. Because I know I've added Artist Loft to the jar in the past, but I don't know how much. Everything else is on the up and up. Okay. Here we go. These coasters, they're plant coasters. And um, I took the sticker off. I went to another Walmart and I found some more because the first Walmart was, was about out of them. When they run out of their seasonal stuff, they're not going to get any more of these, I'm sure. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, but you can see it without the tape on it. I taped off, and I had to go around the side very carefully because this side is some kind of MDF, and uh, it's not. It, it's got some kind of a finish on it. It's smooth. And then this is the coaster part, so I went around with the tape and just taped off the coaster part. I hope I'm in frame there. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, and then this is the mainstays. I saw plant coasters at Home Depot, but they were about a dollar fifty more expensive, and a couple of them the cork was falling off. I didn't see that on any of these, so I didn't buy any from Home Depot. Needless to say. All right, here we go. Um. You need a cup, that would help. Okay. Uh, now, like I said, in that, uh, I'm trying to recreate uh, that uh, second video here, and the idea wasn't necessarily to get a bunch of clouds. Uh, there was a lot of striations in the paint. And uh, the white came out of the cup last because it sinks down to the bottom. Now, I don't know if which one of these is going to sink. This black 
is pretty thick. I'm just going to layer whatever you're going to do, just get on with it. Okay. I'm going to layer just little bitty layers because <gasps> that's what I did before. silicone and gold and it's causing that violet from fine touch from fine touch is um, coming to the surface and the silicone that was in the gold I'm just gonna pour off this blue Wow. I'm liking it. Let's see if I got any. I didn't get any paint on the 
cork. Been lucky so far, number four. No pain on the cork. Wow, guys, look. I love it. I love this one so much, I kind of want to do the same thing. But I'm not, I'm going to do this. Ooh, look at the cup. I think I'm just going to... Container pour. A container cup pour. Should I torch? No, yeah. Those cells keep getting bigger and bigger. I wish they'd stop right there. same mother this time. I'm going to leave that blue on there. There's some blue in throughout. I don't know if you can see that. There really is. There's some blue. All right, I think we need a little more white. We're not getting any Set enamel action here. No, we're not. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to do this. It's going to get poured off anyway. Purple made an appearance. I may have to do one more after this because I've got a lot of paint left. Seeing. There's 
a funky snake in the middle. And he's got an eye and he's looking at you. He's looking at you, not me. <laughs> All right. We'll do a close up now. Please like and subscribe guys. I appreciate it. I think I'm coming up on a hundred subscribers tonight. It's a milestone. Hey, you're reaching one at a time and I'm very grateful for all of you. So thank you. And I'll go in for a close up now. Bye. out of this mess. Now, see, we shouldn't do that. That's not good. It's funny. Because you'll never get off your neck. But it's not good. Hey, that's my poster board. Stop that. Oh, just the cutest booty. Mm -hmm.